Okay, good day. FedEx finally decided to deliver the package. So we got to run down to Walgreens, pick this package up, and we're going to come back, and then we're going to do an unboxing of it. So stay tuned. Good morning everybody, this is Michael Jones from 360 Virtual Drone Services. This is Jones Those Drones, episode 20. Uh, thanks for joining us today. Please hit the subscribe button below and the little bell so you know when you get notifications. You'll know when I put out a new episode. So today we're going to be covering a product uh, from SUAS LLC. It is www.suas.com. Great what you guys over there. Eric uh, is the guy I talked to. They offer several solution packages from, from beginner up to the pro level for um, thermal sensors for UASs. If you're like me and you don't have ten thousand um, dollars to go spend on a thermal camera, that's of commercial grade. But you do want to delve into the thermal area a little bit to take a look at, you know, how this stuff works and maybe get a feel for uh, looking at the thermal images and the thermal video and seeing what's what and just learning about it without having to drop ten thousand dollars. So I think this would be a great solution. So I want to show it today. This is the 3.5 lepton thermal sensor from SUAS LLC, as I mentioned. Um, it does not have the MSX technology like the Mavic 2 Dual Enterprise, uh, so it's just the thermal sensor. Um, nice setup here, though. They did a nice job on the, the 3D printing for all the little brackets and mounting. This is on the Black Pearl monitor, so it actually you have a hand unit. I have it on a horseshoe, like for a a DSLR camera. So, and it has um has several pallets, uh, it's controlled here. It has the fusion, and then it has the rainbow and the white hot. So we got some footage we're gonna show you later, and uh, my little dog is a chihuahua, very, very small dog, so we're gonna use her out in the yard to do kind of like a, a search and rescue scenario. Uh, if you haven't seen it, Paul from DroneU and John McBride from RMUS just put out a great video on the differences between the Mavic 2 Dual Enterprise, which is the smaller, sensor uh, as this one it's a 160 by 120 resolution versus all the applications you can use the xt and xt24 for a lot of, a lot of the higher end commercial grade stuff so that's a great podcast they go into, into way more detail than i will on this one this one's basically just about this camera so here also too um, it has a quick little 3d printed bracket and you can pop that off and it's just hot swappable right to the mavic Pro. This is the Mavic Pro 1. So, uh, with 3D mount as you can see. And then it's a fixed mount, but you do have the ability to tilt it manually. But you know, no control from the app. Um, it's got an SD slot here, so you can record the video of the thermal imaging. Um, it runs on a 9 volt battery, which is ejectable by a little button they've designed in the back. It comes with a battery charger. These 9 volt batteries are both rechargeable. And the antenna, of course, to the Black Pearl monitor in the 5.8 gigahertz. Um, and then as I mentioned earlier, it's got the, the button here to change the color palettes. It has three color palettes. Also guys, before we get too far, I wanted to show you how I had both screens for the regular RGB camera and the thermal sensor set up on the Mavic 1 controller. I have a link to the items in the description below. Both these brackets came off Amazon. I have one that mounts the regular tablet for the regular camera above the controller, as you can see. And then I have one that fits in between the handles on the Mavic 1 controller, and that mounts the 5.8 Black Pearl monitor for the thermal sensor. So I just wanted to show you guys that. The camera's very small, very light, very well built. Um, I'll put the specs in the, in the description below if you want to check all the specs out on the camera. But um, we're gonna show you some footage later, as I mentioned, with my little Chihuahua. She's very small, that'll be a good test. And uh, maybe me or uh, one of my coworkers out in the yard. And um, we'll show you the difference between the RGB camera on the Mavic um, and then the difference side by side shot of the thermal, uh, maybe in the evening time, uh, just so you can get a picture of what the thermal imaging looks like versus the RGB if you're a beginner like me and you're just kind of just getting into the thermal sensing. So, all right, guys, hang on. We'll show you how this mounts on the Phantom 4 Pro as well. 
Okay, so now we have it on the Phantom 4 Pro. As you see, we have the camera mounted on with a piece of jewel lock to the side of the RGB camera. We also have leg extensions sent by uh, SUAS LLC and the bracket to hold the downlink for the thermal sensor uh, on the side of the Phantom 4 Pro. Um, but this camera now, the thermal sensor, is attached to the regular factory camera on the Phantom 4 Pro, so it is controllable by the app as far as the tilt and the yaw of the camera. You still have no controls of the, re of the recording or the change of the color palettes from the DJI app, but you do now on the Phantom 4 Pro, and as well as the Inspire 1, you will have control of the camera as far as the tilt, and it will be steady because it's on a gimbal. So these guys have thought, thought of all options. And again, this package is under $1,000. So you're talking about a thermal sensor that I fly on a Phantom 4 Pro, Inspire 1, uh, or the Mavic Pro, um, and probably even the Mavic Air and a few more small birds. They have uh, a, a few different brackets for each different type of bird. You have to check with those guys about the specs and what they can fly on. But here with this one, we know the Inspire 1, Phantom 4 Pro, and the Mavic Pro. You can definitely fly, and on this one, it's actually controlled the yaw and the tilt by the gimbal because you mount the camera on the side of the gimbal. So that's very cool and very handy. Okay, so here we're just doing a comparison between the thermal sensor and the regular RGB camera on the Mavic Pro. Just doing some footage around the yard, around my house. And this is really low, maybe 15, 20 feet. Just showing a comparison of how, how well the thermal sensor picks up versus the regular picture. This is me rising from about 20 feet or so, and I think I go up to about 125 feet. And as you can see, the contrast uh, lessens the higher you get up. But in an open field without any kind of tree coverage or anything like that, as you can see, you can, you can still tell where I'm at. Now, if this had tree coverage, it'd be a whole different story. But roughly you know, about 125 feet in the air. But you can still see that's me. So a full-size human, you can definitely tell it's a blob, but you couldn't tell exactly what it was. And then here's some shots of me walking around behind the house side by side, again, with comparison to the Mavic Pro. And again, this whole setup here, including the monitor, is like $1,000 or under. So this is my little chihuahua, as you see the cursor pointing to her now. And this is the Fusion palette. And this, this 9 hertz uh, refresh rate, you can see, it kind of freezes up. And then she darts off there. And that's my, my son, myself, and my little chihuahua. This is probably 60 feet off the ground. This is a little bit lower. And you can see my little dog on the steps there and my son and I in the yard. Okay, now the uh, white hot color palette. This is me just stepping out from behind the, our storage building in the yard. Just showing how we, well you can see on the white hot palette. And then we move on to some more footage of my little dog. The little cursor's at. That's my little chihuahua in the yard. This is about 70 feet up, and I think I rise to about 100 feet here just to show you how well the contrast is. Again, you can see the 9 hertz kind of pausing. But still, you can see there's definitely something moving. Again, this is an open field. It's not like it's under, you know, canopies of trees. This is my dog going back on the steps with my son, going back in the house. And then a couple of shots I just got. This is 100 feet altitude. It's pitch black outside. It's about 45 degrees. And a little white blob is me. And then this is about 75 feet in the same circumstance. It's 45 degree weather, pitch black. And then this is about 25 feet or so, me walking to my car and back. So there you can see pretty much uh, how well it picks up and for what circumstances you could use it for. Okay, so that wraps up Jones and Those Drones, episode 20, uh, covering the 3.5 radiometric thermal camera, Lepton thermal camera from 
suas.com. Be sure to go check those guys out. They have uh, several different packages for thermal solutions over there. Um, Eric is the guy I talked to, a very nice guy. Tell him Michael sent you. Anyway, guys, as always, fly legal and fly safe. Peace, guys. Have a good day.